tea time. Let me tell you about the time I went to jail. Like it was a crazy day because I had been SA that day and I had finally got up the courage to go talk to the police because I was like, they ain't gonna care. So I did. I went to the police to report it and it was a terrible time because they act like they don't believe you, that you being stupid. And it was a woman who was interviewing me and everything and I was regretting it. But after it was all said and done, I'm thinking I'm about to leave and the police officer who was with me was like, I'm sorry to do this. I'm like, what? He said, I got to take you in. I said, you got to what? He said, you have a warrant out for your arrest. I said, for what? And he was like, some parking tickets. I had some tickets on my car that I never paid. And they take you to jail for that where I was. And I was like, what? And he was like, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to put the handcuffs on you or anything like that. But I got to take you in. So I'm sitting here like stunned. Like I just went through this crazy thing. And now I'm trying to, and now they taking me to jail. So, but they take me in and it's just the weirdest thing because you see it, you see it on TV, but not really experiencing it for yourself. It's like, wow, they take you in and you're just standing in this room and they put you in a room with a bunch of other girls and you're looking around and you're like, criminals where? Like, literally, these look like regular women just like me. And everybody just looking sad or, like, disappointed in themselves. And I remember calling my mom. And um, my mom was like, what you doing calling me from jail, Tierica? And I was just like, it be like that sometimes. Can you come get me? But she didn't come get me. I sat in that jail. And they had, they, it was weird. It was like a, a room, a big room. And then they, and then they had little rooms, like, upstairs kind of upstairs in the way and they put me in one of the little rooms and closed the door and i'm sitting there like they just closed the door on me like this is wild i'm in jail and they had a window so i could look out the window i'm like this is crazy and i'm all crying i'm all devastated and eventually i'm like okay stop crying i was tired i went to sleep I slept so long that by the time i woke up most of the people who was in that little holding room with me they was gone and i was still there so they said they're going to transport us to another another facility. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to prison. And they put us in this van. And I was just crying my eyes. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. I'm in prison. I'm going to prison. And the man driving the van was like, stop crying. This is not that serious. And, I, and now that I think about it, he do that all the time. But it was serious to me. So we walk into this new place, you know, and they give us new clothes. And that moment really changed my life, literally, because it was the first time that I got a sports bra. Oh, yes, honey, I hate wearing a bra. But when they gave me that little white bra, I was like, oh, yes, this feels so good. And they gave me a little outfit. And we walked into this big old room with all of these women. It was nothing but women. And I was like, wow, I, I'm liking the feel of it. But I know I'm in jail, but I'm still like, oh, this is a great like little environment. And everybody just chilling, doing hair, playing cards. Some girls on the phone talking to their girlfriends. And one girl was like, hold on a second. And she's asking, who going to talk to my girl while I go to the dentist? I'm like, they get to go to the dentist? Oh, my gosh, this is crazy. Like, literally, this is what's happening. So when it came time to go to bed, they put me on this little bunk. And it was a, another bunk bed next to me. The girl is over there crying because she got to stay for two weeks. She's like, hey, we're going to be here for two weeks. And by this time, I'm like, I'm over being shocked. And I'm just like being mindful. Like, when's the next time you're going to be in this situation? You got to just watch. And I'm just looking around at all the sights. It's deathly quiet. It's cold. It's clean. I'm like, oh, my goodness. And I'm hearing a girl crying. And as she's quieting down, next thing you know, I'm hearing, mm, oh, oh. And shh, shh, oh, oh, shh, shh. And I'm like, oh, I'm trying to see who it is. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. So eventually the next day they wake us up. Like it's like five o'clock in the morning and they're giving us food. And, but the, I remember the lady who was there watching us, she was just like, it's, it's time for feeding. Like, the, like we were animals or something. And I'm just sitting there and I'm just looking at all the women and waiting for my time to leave. And eventually it was, but it wasn't until the middle of the night, my sister boyfriend came to pick me up. And as they was um, letting me and this other girl out at the same time in the middle of the night, like one, two in the morning, I remember me and her walking out together and she looked at me. She said, you ever been to jail before? I said, no. And she said, me neither. And she said, I don't know why. I feel like I done graduated or been somewhere in life. I was like, I don't know how to feel like I've been somewhere too. And when my sister boyfriend came to pick me up, he looked at me. Mm-hmm. 
And I looked at him, mm-hmm. And we went back to my sister's house. He went and got a new port and lent it for me and gave me a new port so we could sit out on the porch and talk. It was so crazy. <laughs> to this day, I, I, whenever I see him, I always think about me and him smoking the new port after I, he picked me up from jail.